This episode is brought to you by ZocDoc. Hi, I'm a doctor. Do not look at my reviews on ZocDoc. Just trust me, I'm a good doctor. I'm right down the street at your local strip mall and I got my medical degree from a wizard in the forest. Do not choose him as your doctor. No, you should choose me. I am Professor Dr. Uh, Preclampsian. I got everything I know from ChatGPT and I'm great at my job. No, no, choose, choose me. me. I'm Dr. Me. Ding Dong. And when I put on and a lab coat, I am, it just comes to me. I don't have many appointments available or a receptionist, I'm, I'm always available. but leave a voicemail on my hotline. I don't have a voicemail. What? Or you could just use ZocDoc. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors and instantly book appointments with them online. I use ZocDoc and you should too. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Ned and download the ZocDoc app for free and find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash Ned. This is a Podco original. I don't know why you casted me because uh, I came in and I was like, hello, my name is Ashley and I'm oh. 15 years old. I was like so sad about oh, it. Oh my God. Um, yeah, we're making a show and there's a lot on the line, but like these are kids and yeah. like they need to be allowed to be kids to a certain extent. Kiki would take naps on the couch. Oh. So they would literally like cover her head with a pillow and like move the cameras a little bit so oh. that she could- Cover her head with a pillow sounds like something. <laughs> Was there anything like overwhelming for you? Yeah. Whoa! Oh, 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 <laughs> Daniel, are you just texting me? <laughs> my last text. I had to. Dude, we're wow. we're was, here now in person. We are here in person with eyes Rude. and faces and, and a, a guest. special guest. Rude. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the studio we have Miss. Ashley Argoda. Wow. It's hey, hey, hey. everything. Hey. That was beautiful. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, baby. Hey. Welcome to Ned's Pod. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited. Yes. Yeah, we were definitely talking before we started rolling, trying to suss out if we had ever met, because I feel like we have I, over the years. I just feel like, for some reason, in the car on the way here, I was like, I think we met on Brain Surge. Did you guys do Brain Surge wait, or wait, no? Wait, What's wait, Brain wait. Surge? I don't think Is I it a, brain like a game uh, show thing? Uh, yes. Brain Surge was a game. I did Brain Surge and Figure It Out was the other one that I did. So hmm. I I assumed somewhere in that time we had met, but maybe we didn't. Wait, 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 wait. So sorry. Was that Disney or Nickelodeon? <laughs> it was Nick, but it was like it was like early, early in my Nick days. Uh, which yeah. I was True like, Jackson. It, it was like the first season of True Jackson. Okay. And we were all, I was nervous and it was really hard. It was like a, a brain teaser show. And it yeah. was really, really, Matt Shively won it like 20 million times. And like, to the point where they had to be like, hey, can you throw this and actually lose so that uh -huh, we can get like somebody uh -huh. else to do it? Wow. Big Matt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was one of the co-stars on, uh, on True Jackson as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 You played Lulu. Lulu. I did. Lulu? Yes. That's right. Nice. It was two yeah. Lulus, yes. <laughs> it was two Lulus. Was it Lulu? <laughs> it was. Oh, Lulu? Yeah, yeah. will you tell us about your True Jackson experience? Like getting on Nickelodeon, what was that like for you? What was, um, like? <laughs> was it Did Harriet Greenspan cast that? No, she okay. cast it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, she did. She did, uh, right? Krisha, Krisha casted us in the pilot, and okay. then Harriet did the rest of the show. Okay. Uh -huh. um, and we love them both so yes. much. Um, and then Harriet did Bucket Skinner, which is the other Nickelodeon show that I did. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Cool. I did iCarly first. Was That was like my, my first thing I did for Nickelodeon, and I had like oh. a cute little co-star on that. And then um, True Jackson was supposed to be my last audition, like ever. I was, I was supposed oh. to like wait. Why stop acting? Um, my mom was, she was just like, I'm done with you doing this. I've been acting since I was five, so mm. she was very much like had to take was yeah, very much in it with you. Yeah, she was in it with me, and it was one of those things where she was kind of like, look, I had gotten really close to. I think it was a. I don't remember what it was, but I think it was like a, a decom or something like that. I got really, really close to it and then didn't get it. And mm. I was really devastated about it. And then True Jackson was like the next audition. And she was like, well, this is gonna be your last one. I don't want you to go through this anymore. Damn. And I like, I threw a fit. I like, I threw a fit and then I went to the audition with like the puffiest, like reddest eyes oh. you could ever have. Cause I was so devastated for like a comedy audition. <laughs> ah. So it's so, I tell Krisha all the time. I'm like, I don't know 
why you casted me because uh-huh. I came in and I was like, hello, my name is Ashley and I'm oh. 15 years old. I was like so sad about oh. it. Oh my God. Um, and they, they were like, not yeah, they were like, like her, Golden, <laughs> that depressed child. <laughs> yes. Her. Pretty much. And I was, I was like so shocked that it was happening to me. But it was like, I auditioned for it and then a month went by and I didn't hear anything. And I was wait, like, wait, wait, I'm wait, never going to act so, again. So time out. Walk me through the rest of this day. You get back in the car. Are you mad at mom? How long does this mood last? Like, is oh. it over after the audition's done? No. Like, I was devastated for 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 weeks because it was also like, I did that audition and then didn't hear anything right, for a month. Right. So I was like. And you were praying in that week. Yeah. Like, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I biffed that audition. Yeah. Like, I'm never going to act again. Oh. And it was like, all I knew. I I would been doing it for so long. Like I loved it so much. So mm. I, it lasted for weeks. Like I was so upset at her. I like, I, I had thrown my bedroom door open. So like there was an imprint of the doorknob on my oh. like bedroom wall. I was so mad. Oh, that's yeah. yeah. Like it was, mm-hmm. it was, it you was wanted like it. the universe yeah. was like, yeah, let's give her a second chance. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd like, I'd gone to acting like uh, my acting coach for it like three or four times. And mm-hmm. it was, it wasn't even an audition I was supposed to go on. My agent didn't tell me about it. It was my acting coach who told me about it. It was Whoa. like all these, like mm. all these weird things. And it just felt like such a fun role and also it was Nickelodeon like every kid wanted to be on Nickelodeon it was so fun and man she dropped that bomb on me and it was the morning she didn't even like it wasn't even like the day before and I'll give you time to process it was like we're about to leave for this audition I lived an hour and a half away from LA Mm. so longest car ride of my life (laughs) and then I get to the audition and I you know I don't remember any of it at this point but like I did what I did in that that's, audition. That's wild. Your mom yeah. got you in the car before an audition and said, hey, by the way, I'm never doing this again. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, like, what a, this com- what a last commitment one. for your mom, Let too. Like, that, yeah. that, oh, it's, I mean, it's the drive huge. The parents, this, yeah. when we're kid actors, the parents and, have, yeah. it's do a big you, lift for them. Do yeah, you crazy. have siblings? I do. I have a brother who's 11 and a half years older. Oh, okay. Not in oh, the business oh, okay. at all. He, he like went to school for architecture. He like worked at the <gasps> grocery store, like very, so like cool. very, very separate from, from yeah. the arts. Yeah. When you found out you booked True Jackson and, and your acting career was going to continue, uh, was your mom like, fuck. No. <laughs> wait, wait, no. how did you find out? Like, what was the day like? Did you um, come home? Did your mom tell you? Mom was like, hey, by the way, <laughs> You booked it. Remember so what great. I said? So great. <laughs> no, you better I, uh, get a bus pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my God, longest bus ride ever. <laughs> yeah. um, I I did the network testing on a Friday, mm-hmm. and I was hoping I was like, oh man, maybe they'll tell me before the weekend so that I can like just know that I got this. No, no, <laughs> nah, <happens>. nah. <laughs> nah. They uh, they waited the weekend. Although later on, I found out from the creators of the show, they were like, oh, we we decided like that night. They didn't tell you. I was like, no, they didn't wow. tell me anything. We're they always had clocked out for the evening. Yeah, pretty much. You, you like, wait. You um, like, no, I thought my career was <laughs> over. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they they my agent called me on Monday morning. I was taking a math test. Oh. I was in high school, mm. uh, and they were like, I, they put me on hold and like <gasps> got everybody on the line. You got pulled out of class. I was homeschooled. Oh. I'd been homeschooled okay. since okay, okay. seventh grade. Perfect. I went oh, to like public perfect. elementary school and then I was mm-hmm. homeschooled for a little while because I toured with a show for a little while. Got it. So um, I like tried to go back to school for a little while and was like, it's so difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Kids suck. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so as I have one in my belly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love you. Yeah, she has a little baby. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yes, for yeah. the people oh. at home. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. But Ashley yeah, they uh, I am. I'm pregnant. Um, yeah, they all, they, my whole team got on the, on the call with me and they were like, you booked it. And I was Uh-oh. like, what? My career's not over. This is great. Uh, I was suck so it, mom. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was like the start of of everything on on Nickelodeon for me. It was it was such a trip to like go from this is gonna be the last audition I ever do to like oh this is gonna now You're change my every life. Day. Yeah, welcome right. to yeah. years of your life. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. That's wild. Um, yeah, and it was crazy. And it was a good experience. I mean, I think True Jackson is really loved, and you guys had a dope cast Kiki's oh, amazing yeah. Matt Travely is amazing you're such a sweet person like I, I I know different sets have different vibes but yeah. I feel like True Jackson was probably a, a vibey one we had a great vibe on set we yeah. just had I was telling you guys we had a reunion um, a little party yeah just like our, one of our, our prop guys like held a reunion just because he was like I miss you guys he did this book of like he 
basically has this yellow tuxedo and mm. has to like he as people are taking their continuity photos if they're a celebrity he'll like go up behind him and photobomb them uh -huh. okay. so and he has 30 years of photos of this Whoa. So big he, yellow suit. yeah so he created a book and like he held a true jackson reed and we're in the book and and oh. all of that so oh, we got to see i mean i see shively all the time because we live a mile away from each other so uh but our crew members who i haven't seen in like years and years and years, our AD from the first season, our wardrobe people, Amazing. our Real lighting bombs, people, our DP. Man. Yeah, it was, but and like those people helped ra helped raise me. So yeah. it was, yeah, it yeah. was like yeah. such a cool. I don't know. It was, a, it was really cool to get to see everybody after all these years and like just reconnect and like all of the kids who were babies on set are there. And like, they're like, yeah, I just graduated college and you know now I'm you know living out in Boston. I'm like, what are you? What? No, that's not fair. Yeah. yeah, it's really yeah. crazy. But we had a great experience. I I loved my time on that show. It yeah. was really wonderful. Was there anything like overwhelming for you getting on set and like working as much as you were working? And is there any part of it that like, yeah. uh, I think, um, you know, we were we had to be in school. So that was that was a big Always, one. And yeah. school in my family was like, you must get good grades. You must be good at this. You must go to college. Um, wow. and the homeschooling was great, but it was also like, we also still lived in, we never moved to LA. So I still lived an hour and a half away. So our call times were 8am. I had to get up at 430 every morning, Ooh. like Ooh. get ready, drive in, do yeah. the three hours of school, do all the rehearsal. And then a lot of times we wouldn't go home. Like when the day was over, even when I was done with school, because it would be traffic. Wait for traffic. Yeah. Coming up from Long Beach. We did that every freaking day. And you guys were coming in from where? I was coming in from the Inland Empire. Oh, so yeah. So not yeah. Like close. Marino Valley area? Le like, yeah, like oh. Redlands. Oh, Redlands. So, yeah, Jeez. so very far away. So Oof. the hours, I think, were the most overwhelming. The job felt not overwhelming. Right. Because I loved right. it so much, and yeah. I loved the people so much. But, man, those hours... We didn't sleep for. I, be, I was like, I became um, anemic on the show. Oh, um, wow. So I like. Oh my I, god! I just like stopped. I stopped eating well, and like it was because you are just like thrown into this crazy world, and you're like, you just keep going and going Operate. and going and going. Yeah. Yeah. And I will give it to the creators of our show. They, Andy and Dan, were very adamant about like when Nickelodeon would like schedule Kids Choice Awards plus promo plus blah blah, blah like all mm -hmm. these different things. They were like, hey can you guys not do this days in a row so that the girls can maybe rest have time, some yeah. like rest time right. and some just like some downtime just to go be kids. Mm -hmm. And that was really important to them. So yes, yeah. it was overwhelming, but we also had a lot of people on our side who were like rooting for us and making sure we were okay. Yep. This episode is brought to you by ZocDoc. I, I keep missing the note though. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or was it? Whoa. Guys, 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 it's getting worse. What? what is? The rash. Yeah, oh, it's, oh. it's so bad. What should I do? Dude, you need to go to a doctor right now. Yeah. No, 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 no. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't like Zoc finding Doc, doctors. ZocDoc. ZocDoc Zoc Doc. Doc is simple and easy. You can that. find a doctor right now. I don't want to do it. Just tell me, what should I do? <sighs> it really hurts. I don't, you got to sleep that one off, champ. I don't. Uh, what? Maybe, maybe you could get something sharp and try to just scrape off the crust. Scrape it, yeah. Just is it? Scrape it and sleep? Mm. Uh-huh. No, what should I do? It really hurts. Uh, put some uh, spray paint on it. Uh -huh. Spray paint? It might just be superficial. Just cover it up. Have you I tried like peeing it. on it? That works. Sometimes. I'll use ZocDoc and find a doctor. Stop getting medical advice from your dumb friends. ZocDoc is a free app and website where you can compare highly rated in-network doctors and instantly book appointments with them online. I use ZocDoc and you should too. Go to ZocDoc.com Ned and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C. Com net. Same. That's what I'm Scott yeah. Fellow is like, yeah. like, yeah, I, I, I still just love the fact that he was making a TV show. He was living his dream. He created a show that gets picked up. He's the showrunner. It's coming out of his brain. He's getting to talk to a young audience about what he would like to help them feel better about, right? Yeah. Like a lot on the creator. And then he never lost sight of like, yeah, we're making a show and there's a lot on the line, but like these are kids and yeah. like they need to be allowed to be kids to a certain extent. Yeah, there were times where um, Kiki would take naps on the couch in Tree's office <laughs> and they would, they didn't want to wake her up because she was tired. Aww. So they would literally like cover her head with a pillow and like move the cameras a little bit so that oh. she could. Cover her head with a pillow sounds like you're <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Did you to doze up again? <laughs> Not on my set. Never sleep on this set. No, they uh, they put it. I I'll say they put it on top of her head like a like a hat, like oh, a little okay, crown hat. Uh, but yeah, they they were like, we don't want to wake her up, so we're just gonna like we'll move the cameras and stuff like that. And they did yeah. that so many times for us. They were so good to us. Wow. Yeah. That's so Jackson nice. That's great. And you guys um you guys got to shoot at Paramount. That's cool. <laughs> they uh they put the Ned's cool Declassified studio. at uh, Occidental Studios in North Hollywood. Um. Yeah. Hang a left at the nudie store, yep. go down this weird broken alley, and that's where we filmed. Yep. You were on <laughs> historic Paramount Studios. Yeah. Yes, where they shot uh, Cheers Everything, and Frasier. Apollo 13, wow. all yeah. sorts of things, Frasier. man. Yeah, it was our, we were on stage wow. 25, and oh. I think the Thunderman shot there as well. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Yeah. Luckily, Occidental, Occidental um, didn't have air conditioning. Oh, Bruh. no. I'm no, so yeah, we had to have it installed. Had to have it installed. Yeah. yeah. And when we say yeah. installed, it's just like a huge tube running from <laughs> yeah, there. Was just, just a tube. big tube that would sometimes just fall down onto <laughs> set sometimes. It's a big yellow tube, right? Yeah. Oh, no, it no. was it was wild. So we shot first season at Sunset Gower Studios, which, oh, yeah, which was great, yeah, yeah. right? And then um, they were like, congratulations, Ned's is doing so well. You got picked up for more episodes for second season. We're like, <laughs> yay. And they're like, but you're not going to be at Sunset Gower. And we're like, where are we going to be? Nick on Sunset? And yeah. they're like, no. And we're like, <laughs> Paramount? And they're like, no. <laughs> we're like, what is it? They're like, Occidental Studios, North like, Hollywood. It's huh? never been a soundstage before. <laughs> Off of Sherman Way. <laughs> Off of Man. Sherman Way. Sherman Used Way. to be a manufacturing warehouse, uh, loosely converted to a soundstage. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Loosely converted. I feel like I filmed Incredible. something there not when I was on Nickelodeon. If, it, mm. if it's the place I'm thinking of, mm -hmm. I am so sorry. <laughs> you so know that we, weird so street that you drive yeah, down here. Yeah. yeah. You're Pulling like, am I gonna die here? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, like there are moments in this industry. For me, anytime I'm on one of the old studios, like I feel it does feel yeah. dope. Like yeah. anytime I have an audition on Paramount or Sony, like WB, like it feels amazing yeah. to be there. Yeah. I'm like, this is yep. so fucking cool. Yeah. You feel the Occidental scope studios. of what you're doing. Yeah, you feel the history of yep. cinema. And yeah. what did it feel like at Occidental? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Occidental is the opposite of that. Oh no! You're, you're not near any. There's nothing. Yes, <laughs> I think just Jordan shot there after us too. But oh, it was it was, it was no. bad. yeah. So they, they use the studio again. Yes, right. Right. Oh, yes. Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy filmed there. The mm -hmm. their mechanic shop, like the sons, their bike shop. The exteriors were like in our parking lot, that which makes sense because oh, it looks wow. just like a it, biker gang. That's kinda it. <laughs> that's yeah. it. Yeah. Perfect yeah. location. Yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> sorry guys yeah that shit oh, made man. me laugh man I'm Dude. so sorry <laughs> It's it was fine. too cold on our set because I guess Kelsey Grammer. <laughs> <laughs> Their air conditioner worked too well. <laughs> the fuck did Jesus. you just say it was too cold? I, wow. Apparently, this is the 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 story was that Kelsey Grammer was always warm when he was filming Fra or Fraser, so they put in like the special air conditioning, so we were Brilliant. freezing all the time. Oh, that's hilarious! <laughs> that's what I. Will that's if, hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. It was. Bridget. We couldn't get cool. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Sorry. Did you guys shoot in the summer ever? Yeah. Yikes. We would we would like bleed into the summer. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. And then so in the fun. valley too. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Ooh. Yeah you know. No. Bueno. No, no, bueno. no. So no, funny no. man. Actually. Yeah, we, oh no. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say. Uh, last time I saw you, and first time I actually introduced myself yeah. to you, like through all these years, was at uh, the premiere of Kiki Palmer's uh, Big Boss. Big Boss yeah. Network. Yeah. Which is so lit. Like she started her own network, man. She's making amazing like film projects. Yeah, she we were there because she directed that entire like concept and album acted in and it. acted in it. She and was it was amazing. fire. The cinematography was dope, man. Yeah. Like, yeah, I recommend you guys check, check out She's the film. She's so fucking cool. Skilled she's and crazy talented. talented. So, and so cool. Much stuff. She's cool, cool and man. she's like she's as kind and as nice as mm. as you yeah. like think she is. Like mad down to earth, bro. Super yeah. cool. Oh, and she she mentioned the the pod too. So I got I haven't Word. I haven't said hey come on yet, but she Kiki did come say, on. Hey, I like the pod. Hey, Kiki, come on. You know what I, mean? I saw yeah. this clip of her during like the summer her pod is dope too. the summer of yeah. 2020 when like LA was like blowing up with protests like kind of during the George Floyd time mm -hmm. i saw this clip of her uh talking with this cop like mm -hmm. and there's like mm. a group of protesters behind her and just the way she interacted with that man and how she tried to get him to kind of drop into some humanity yeah. it was 
I was like, Kiki, that like that's Different a fucking breed. leader. Yeah. Like breed, you're yeah. a leader, dude. It was yeah. beautiful. That it's shit, incredible. That shit was moving. She's an incredible human being. Yeah. yeah. Same, mm-hmm. same, same, same. And you guys showed to me was pretty. I, I don't want to say just revolutionary, but there was some female empowerment elements there. Just the diversity and inclusion as well. Like you're Filipina. I am Filipina. Yeah. 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 yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And so seeing you paired with her, like that was. I, I I liked what your show kind of stood for. It was it was really interesting. I had um I had a hard time like getting roles when I was a kid. Like nobody really knew what to do with me. Mm-hmm. There was a manager once who told me that because I had braces, I would like probably never work. And oh, she was wow. like, "Well, you know, when once you get those off, like that you'll figure it out. I it's had all braces good." Too on this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got the show. I got the show with like my hair down to my butt. Like it was so long. Mm-hmm. Right. And braces. They always like, tell you you gotta cut it. It's yeah. Not, it's not. They did. Nickelodeon did make me cut it. In the oh. Oh. <laughs> of course. <laughs> of course they did. They took me out to. <laughs> they took me out to. A really fancy dinner in between seasons and they were like we like to do this with our cast members just to like just to check in on them and like just to see what's up oh, they no. took me to this really fancy dinner I think actually pretty close to here mm-hmm. and they were like they were like halfway through the dinner they were like so is there anything you want to see for season two like anything and I was like no I, I mean I, I love my job I love my role this is great and they were like, no. so we were thinking, and they pulled out a folder of no. like hairstyles. And they were no. like, so this is what we were thinking of for you. And it was like, not like Bob haircuts right, right. or anything, but they wanted me to cut my hair. And mm-hmm. that's how they told me. They like duped me into going to this dinner. <laughs> Let's make her think she planned this. Anything you want? We're going to make you think haircut? you matter. Why? And then we're going to tell you to cut your hair. Damn. And they sent me yep. to this really bougie salon of in Beverly yep. Hills. And mm-hmm. like, it was such a big, de- we donated my hair to... I think we donated my, donated my hair to um, Locks for Love. But they right. might have just told you that to make you feel better. It went to Nickelodeon, and I never got a certificate or anything, so I don't, oh. I don't know. So if your that locks, ever locks of your hair are just floating around out here. Yeah, so, pretty much. So <laughs> they're the money back. They've created clones <laughs> out of you already. So <laughs> oh no! So second season, they're <laughs> making sure you look. Uh, even better. They're like, let's change her hair so it's just like she looks yeah. even better. Meanwhile, I go into second season <laughs> His hair and they worse. let me have the worst fucking haircut no. I've ever seen. We've been rewatching <laughs> second season for for the pod. Sure. And I kind of forgot. I'm looking at it. I'm like, how did anyone let this kid be on TV? It's this weird, like lopsided, long. There's no shape to it. Dang. The bangs are weird. Um, the was it the sides Justin Bieber before it was Justin length. Bieber? Yes. Yeah, yeah, but no. Justin Bieber's yeah. had a weird stylishness to it. Fair. Mine was. Uh-uh. <laughs> you walked so he could unkempt. run. You walked so he could run. I That's mean, fair. Hey. Yeah. I'm so I started sorry. The swoop, I started the swoopy bang Biebs. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Scott Fellows just walks by and he's like, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps going, dude. Oh, literally, man. they were like, "You look like an idiot." Do you it's guys? Perfect. Do you guys like watch the episodes back and be like, "Who let us go on camera like that?" Yes, yeah. Oh, yes. I do the Often. same thing sometimes. Too. Yes. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All my little accessories. I think I was wearing a yeah. flip flop necklace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the last, I'm like, <laughs> all those dumbass little accessories. There was one time they gave me um, fork and spoon <laughs> earrings, <laughs> and now it looks like I like looks like Lulu was doing drugs. Like, uh, <laughs> what what the hell? Like, who off? gave me these? Yes. So like, yeah. <laughs> look for quirky. no reason. <laughs> it, yeah, very quirky, very fun. But like, I watched it back. We, my husband and I, watched True Jackson during the pandemic because he'd never seen an episode. Hmm. So uh-huh. we watched the episode. We watched the entire thing. And I would just watch it and be like, what the hell? <laughs> like, what am I wearing? Or like, what am I doing? What is my hair doing? Right. What are these earrings? What are these accessories? Yeah. yeah. It was wild. Yeah. What a time. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. I wouldn't be watching the series. Like, we're going to watch every episode for this podcast. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if it weren't for this podcast. That's fair. Because yeah, yeah. sometimes fair. I'm like, sometimes I get like real sweet nostalgia where I'm like, oh, yeah. I remember that. And isn't this great? And then I also reach a point where I'm like, Okay, that's the past. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay I'm for done. For sure. It's in the for past sure. for a reason. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. definitely. You have fucking cutie bangs for second season too, right? <laughs> they're terrible. <laughs> they're right? no. It's almost like they're a third of what bangs should be. They're just like here. You did the micro bang before it was cool. Oh my god, yeah, nice. babe. I mean, they were long, but it's like it. It was so thin here, and so oh. much here. Oh no! Um, did Nickelodeon tell time. you to do this? Or oh, yeah. or, oh. did oh. they? Uh, that was a Nick- Nickelodeon said, "Get bangs, <laughs> bitch." Well, one. I think they were <laughs> like, words. "You can cut your hair." 
Oh, so like her, they're like, you, you can and wait, should wait, 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 cut like, your hair. There's a folder. I self-inflict those bangs upon myself. Bangs are always self-inflicted. I, I'm sorry. Every woman in my life goes through a time where they get bangs that they decided on, and then they have a mental breakdown because they chose to get yes. bangs. Can you guys yeah. explain wow. this to me? What? I can't because I, I've never had bangs. Oh, you never, I know. You've never had the mental breakdown of giving your... No. I've I've had a mental breakdown, okay. but it wasn't... Right, I right, didn't do bangs. Right. I had a menti B, not over those yeah. bangs. <laughs> had a menti B. Yeah. I like making menti it B, cute. Right? right? <laughs> it sounds refreshing. Menti B. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've um, had a couple menti Bs. Okay, oh, so yeah. you say, husband, tell me... I, I want to know everything. How'd you meet him? Wow, How yeah. How did you propose? Oh, How did you gosh. put that baby in you? Um. Well, when two People We're talking very details, much. Ashley. Wow. People love each other. Uh, very sorry much. in advance, honey. Um, <laughs> we met. I was doing a show at this place called Rockwell Table and Stage. Mm -hmm. Performing. Uh, you were, yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah, performing live. Jordan Ross. Uh, I know Jordan Ross, but I was not doing his show. Okay. Um, we used to do unauthorized musical parodies of movies, That's, TV oh, shows. Right, right, Jordan right, 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 did right. like Cruel Intentions yeah. and yep. stuff like that. I at the time was doing Mean Girls mm. and another like super, you know, this was all fake kind of story. I was an understudy and I had my last day before, the week before my husband came to the show. So they called me three hours before the show the next week and they were like, hey, the normal Regina can't come in. Like, can you come in? And I, listen, this is regional theater. So like I'm bringing my own, like my own clothes, right, my own right, shoes. Right. I brought there's all no my money. shit home. Yeah. No, there's mm -hmm. no right. So I brought all my shit home. And they called and I was like, oh, I don't really want to go. I don't want to do this. I don't want to go. And then I don't I don't know what in me was like, just go do the fucking show. Like, go perform. It's fine. You can do this one more time. These are your friends. And I went and did the show and he was in the audience that night. And <laughs> yeah. And he sat with a friend of mine and um, I did not. I I was like not interested I hadn't dated anybody in three years. I I had one real relationship before that, and I was like, never fucking again. again. Oh, fuck, no. fuck, man! Like, <laughs> like I'm done. I'm good. I was I was really really happy on my own, and he didn't come to the show like with my friend to to you know find a wife, find a wife, or like <laughs> like to meet anybody. And he he was there. He didn't say anything to me after the show. I asked him if he liked the show, and he said it was good. And that was the only thing he said to me that night. And I was like, oh, what a dud. Like, oh. <laughs> he doesn't talk. Like, gross, whatever, whatever. And everybody kept saying that night, I think he has a crush on you. And I think that's why he didn't talk to you. And he came back a few months later when we were doing the unauthorized musical parody of Bridesmaids. Months? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. We had a couple of mutual friends. So he came with a different friend this time. And I hugged him at intermission. I got really nervous that day because I knew he was coming. And again, I had only spoken like three sentences to this man in my whole life. Hmm. And I got really nervous. And I just like I saw him at intermission. And this is not like a conventional theater. So we're like walking around during intermission. We can yeah. see mm -hmm. people. We can hang out with the audience. And I gave him a big hug. And I was like, oh, my God. Hi. Great to see you. And he took that as like. Oh, sick. She remembers me. And <laughs> I was just so nervous that I didn't know what to do with myself. And I just like gave him a panic hug and was like, all right, got to get back to the show. See you later. So he was brave enough to ask for my number that night. Nice. <laughs> Good man. I say it all the time. I'm like, I never would have like gone for this if you didn't say anything in the mm -hmm, first place. Like mm -hmm. I would have just been like, oh, yeah, he's really cute. And yep. I would have just left it alone. But yep. he was like, he asked for my number and he had read I think it was Aziz Ansari who wrote a book. It was like seven texts or less. And it was about like he had read that you should if you want something, you should try and get it in seven texts or less. So he texted me the next morning. And he was like, you were so great. I had so much fun last night. And um, I said, I can't wait for you to see Hocus Pocus. And he was like, I can't wait either. I actually really can't wait. I'd love to go out with you next week. And mm. I remember I this was in a bar. Rockwell Table and Stage was a bar. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there were many people who came to shows. There were people who were like, I love your number. And I gave them fake numbers all the time. I mm -hmm. gave this man my real number and I don't know why still. <laughs> we went out the next week. I tried to cancel it. I texted my best friend. I was like, I think I'm going to cancel. I think like, I really think this is not going to be it for me. I don't want this. I don't want to go on a date. And she was like, just go on the date. You're not going to marry the guy. And I was like, all right. And then <laughs> we both planned on spending an hour there. We spent five hours there. We went to the Stop. intercontinental, like, the bar, the rooftop bar yeah. at the Intercontinental. 
Yeah, it's yeah. fantastic up there. It's Love really it. beautiful. Never been. Damn. Yeah. It's so beautiful. And I'm a huge sports fan. I'm a huge Lakers fan. And we were sitting like right where oh. Staples Center was. So right. mm -hmm. we talked about that. He's also a huge sports fan. And we ended up just really connecting. And then our second date, I'd mentioned in our first date, oh, I've always wanted to go ballroom dancing. And he said, oh, I used to competitive waltz. And then he texted me the next day and he said, I scheduled a dance class for us okay. next week if you're interested. I know, no, I know. Hey. <laughs> Devin. A, this is a lot. It's a lot. Maybe pick up some tips, <laughs> Devin. <laughs> no, because you, you know what's so just like about this is because I don't think I've ever met one of these men in real life. No, you know I, what I know. Mean? And so it's like, I, they <laughs> exist? This isn't just in movies? <laughs> no, I don't know. Grab their fucking nuts and-, and, and, and Are you good? Whoa, 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 that's our show. Way forward <laughs> well, that's, our show, um, that's our show, guys. That's our show. No oh tips today. No, I know. You've been putting effort and no. not just hang on the couch? I still say oh all God. the time, I still say all the time, like men aren't shit except for my man. Like he oh! is, he is everything. Oh, Thank you. He, he made- lesson he did because yes. he remembered what you said he did a, and it was a private lesson i did not know it was a private lesson i thought we were walking into a class it was a private oh, waltzing he, lesson no group yeah. on here no group on baby <laughs> he like fa and he knew he knew i lived in the valley so he was like oh i found a studio that's really close to you i'll come and pick you up oh, he blah, did blah, the blah. work oh he did hmm. the work hey 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 and then he drove me home that night the street was empty in front of my apartment, so he waltzed with me in the street in front of my apartment, and then we had our first kiss, and then we spent every day together. So Whoa! Yeah. Those are some shoes to I fill. <laughs> <laughs> I the cannot show my street? girl this episode. I know. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Wait, and so when you saw him like dance, was it impressive? Yeah, I was really impressed. He was. I, I mean, thought he was bullshitting me when he. Yeah, I mean? when he was like a competitive waltz, so I was like, okay. All and right, then he buddy. started dancing, and he was like, no, I know the box step. Like I know the. One, two, I know like. Three, one, two. Yeah, hey. and it's really it's harder oh than it looks. God. I danced when I was a kid and like I still had a hard time picking it up and he was it was so natural to him. And then I guess <laughs> I, he had to have told the instructor that we were on a we were on a date because the instructor ended the class with salsa dancing. <gasps> oh, <laughs> oh nice. just so, so we had like a, a little fun. I recently then, did you know? one of those. That's yeah, good. yeah, yeah. And th that's also harder than it looks. So oh, yeah. we got a little hip action in there. Nice. Nice. Salsa going on. nice. It was really cute. And then yeah, we had that moment in the street. Wait, oh my god. So you kissed and then when you pulled apart, were you both like, oh my god, we know how magical that was yes he oh. says that when we had our first kiss he um he was imagining ourselves like together sitting on a porch and rocking chairs as like old people <laughs> oh, hey my guy you're making it too hard out I here can't, i can't look at goosebumps <laughs> straight up goosebumps Lindsay has actual goosebumps oh yes. my yeah, god that's a lot. it was so great having you on but yeah. this episode can't air because daniel here. can't show this we to his girlfriend <laughs> So freaking I invited her. Why did I yeah. do this? So, okay, I can't even imagine what the fr oh, freaking proposal was like. Like, how long were you together before you? So he he was like that night. I knew I wanted to marry you, pretty much. But we he we moved in together a few months later, um, and then we dated for. <laughs> Oh, are those tears? Oh no! It's so sweet. This is the Bachelor so before sweet. your very eyes. I know. No, don't apologize I, for I your amazing love story. Are you kidding me? It's fantastic. It's awesome. awesome. I'm just like, fucking oh with you. Oh my god! The hope and the care. Yeah. It's just like he um he waited two years to propose to me. We okay. knew we like we knew we wanted to get yeah. married. We had talked about it. We talked about like we talked yeah. about our whole lives together. We moved in together, and then. Uh, two years later, on our two-year anniversary, he proposed at the Intercontinental in the oh. same spot that we had nice. our first date. Oh. Was it 71 <laughs> and above? Is yes, that the Spire one? 73. Oh, Spire yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 73. They, I love yeah. that spot. They were so great. He um, he spent nine months planning the proposal. I was going to say, you only know somebody when you know them through all the seasons first, right? Yep. So that first year is just like, all right, that's the base. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And then the next year is like... And we moved in together very quickly. Right. Like it was, he asked me after three months and we moved in together after six months. Oof. So we we were like, Make this is what we want. Like mm -hmm. we Wait, was this COVID? Was this before? It was so he proposed in September of 2019, and then COVID happened. So mm -hmm. we y'all survived the COVID. Though. That's a that's a real listen. One. We got through COVID, and we were like, we can get through anything. Oh. Yeah. Wedding yeah. planning during COVID was. The Ooh. craziest maintaining hope for the future is crazy. genuinely like it was so. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, getting out of bed during COVID yeah. was tough, it man. It started In out general. with us like it started out with us just kind of like you know for so long we were like oh it's only two weeks so like no big deal right. and then we also said like oh we're gonna take time planning our wedding we don't need to worry about it like we'll take our time we'll take our time don't think and we were like yo it's been <laughs> like we've been in this house forever 
good. So we started planning during COVID and then we ended up having to move the wedding. Um, so we, it was, we dated for two years. We were engaged for two years. We were married for two years and now we're having a baby. So oh. the, yeah. the power wow. of twos. That yeah. The power working. of twos. Lindsay, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> ask, uh, you've, you've had uh, tears in your eyes for this whole uh, love <laughs> share. That, is that out of hope for what could be or, or loss at what isn't? Wow. That's a wow. Hard, that's Way a to break it down question. like the US government. Um, <laughs> is it this very thin thing or is it this other very slight thing? And there's only two. Um, no, but honestly, just. <sighs> oh, dear. I just feel like uh, I can appreciate these stories now because I, 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 I've gotten like a glimpse of what that little feeling is, but I've always kind of been a sucker for like people getting to know each other and what attracted them. Like I'm yeah. so about love stories. Yeah. I just, I love to hear them. I'm the one at the wedding where even if I don't know the person that well, I am a puddle mm. as they walk down the aisle. Because you the, believe in true love. The hope, yeah. the hope that's there. Everybody's moving towards this thing. Like they're so vulnerable. I don't know. And like, yeah. it, it's like this beautiful thing for you now. It's part of your life. You have this yeah. baby. All of it is just so big and like lovely. Thank you. I mean, please don't get me wrong. I had to go through a lot to get to to get to this of guy. Of course, yeah. <laughs> the, all of that. The one I dated before him was right. Not, mm. Again, right. didn't date for three years. But you yeah. found like, each other, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you both recognize that. It's yeah. just a cool, like, yeah. just a cool. Oh, that's great. No, that's yeah. Yeah. And for anybody wondering, he also said at the beginning of that year, "I'm not dating." He was like, "I'm going to be single. I'm going to." I think he said, "For a year, I'm going to be single." And I met him five months into that. Mm. So he's like, single was good. Her. <laughs> Her. Single was good. Single yes. Single it was also good. Was yes. good. <laughs> yes. It was good. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you the most romantic second date anyone's ever had. Dear God. He just yeah. flipped it on. That's yeah. also just such like a like a romantic fantasy type thing. Like when yeah. you know, totally. when, when then they actually bring that to life, it's like it was wow. it felt like a Disney movie. Yeah. It felt like the ending of a Disney movie where I'm like, literally picturing you guys waltzing in the street. Yeah. yeah no, no, that is <laughs> fire. That's great. It was great. Let me share an accidental, <laughs> unbelievably romantic date I took this girl on. This was ooh, this was ooh, 10 ooh. years okay. ago. This is forever <laughs> ago. And and this was er, this was maybe a second or third date. Okay. This was an accidentally unbelievably romantic date. So um, there was gonna be, oh no, no, we didn't know. Uh, we were just gonna go to Malibu. We were just gonna go to the beach. Like, hey, let's go to the beach. Let's like set up some fucking blankets. Let's stay for like sunset into the evening, right? Gonna be cool. I was getting to know her. Um, we, we go out to, to Zuma. It's great. Um, we didn't know it, but that night was a meteor shower. Nice. And we didn't Whoa. know it. So all of a sudden we're laying down and I'm seeing more shooting stars than I've ever seen in my life. Girl, you and got me like, feeling these feels. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'll tell you how it went. So, so we're seeing these shooting stars. Like, oh my god, this is fucking amazing. Uh, I need to pee, so there's no bathroom. So I go to like pee in the ocean. As I'm stepping, the ground is glowing blue. There was <gasps> the, the there was the bioluminescence. Oh, oh my! Like <laughs> the ground's literally glowing blue. There's shooting stars falling out of the sky. <laughs> I didn't mean for this date to be that goddamn romantic. Oh. I feel like for her, she had the moment oh. you were having on yeah. your date, which wait, was wait, like, no, this is a, I'm not which a was guy. like, this is, <laughs> this is meant to be, this is divine. Oh, no. Meanwhile, my ass at the time, like, I liked her. You I, were I done with her, her after that Malibu hang. Oh, I, I liked no. her, I loved her, but I was just more like, wow, isn't the universe amazing? And she was like, You're aren't amazing. we amazing? Oh. <laughs> How long did you date this person after that we happened? We had a weird on and off <laughs> thing for like a year and change. When you not, guys not weird, we, we had we had a good we had a good thing for a while, and then and then an kind of on again, off again thing for a couple months. When you guys did get back together, was it uh, was this date referenced ever? This, this, was was th she ever like? Do you, don't you remember that time? Oh no, totally. <laughs> you have to. Yeah. Oh no, totally. Yeah. <laughs> Look, that shit was magical. We counted that. You remember, can't tell right? me this is a real. Death. You remember, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that's yeah. terrible. Yeah. Oh, oh 
my yeah, God. Was, I was gonna. My first question was gonna be like, why have you ever like tried to repeat this date? But that you literally can't dude, repeat that's that. Once in a lifetime. Dude, bioluminescence and a meteor shower at the same time that we didn't plan for. Unbelievable. No, wow. You, you that will probably wow. never happen to you again. No, probably not. <laughs> Couldn't do it if I tried. Is that why you didn't try. choose not to put any intention into things? Yeah, it, that's exactly right. Oh, the wow. universe works it out. It'll, for you. it'll do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it great? It'll do it for me. <laughs> oh wow. No, look, I put immense intention and and love and effort into uh, my last relationship, and that was five years ago, and I haven't done it again. <laughs> Dang. And there you go. You okay, you're probably okay. gonna meet your spouse very soon. <laughs> it sounds like it, yeah, because yeah. it's similar to it parallels the story with your mom. Like, look, we are never <laughs> doing, doing this, this again. again. Literally, <laughs> literally. And then, oh, you, that's the one. She and then I was really like, just didn't kidding. Want to drive you that day because no. she was letting you know early. There were tears in her mom's eyes when like, she found out she booked Trick Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, <laughs> she's like, damn it. <laughs> uh, that's great. It all happened, <laughs> mom. It's happening for me, and she's like. <laughs> oh, no. I have to fucking drive on the 10. <laughs> the 10 freeway is terrible. In her defense, uh, the 10 freeway was oh, actually awful. the fucking worst. Isn't it, wasn't it like yeah. shut down after, like recently, after the rains and stuff? Yeah. Something there was happened a fire, the there, there was a fire underneath the There was a fire a couple oh. months ago yeah, yeah. that oh. shut it yeah. down. Yeah. yeah. Downtown For area. structural the damage. the thing, like, caught fire. It was it's a pallet like, fire. Right. Under it, it was right. a, the yeah. flames were coming up. Yeah, no. They had to check its structural integrity. Because right, the fucking right, was like right. Yeah, cooking the freeway bridge. It was crazy. Yeah, wow. There was one time I was really late to work uh, for a, a fridge, theater though. show, and my mom drove on the shoulder of the freeway the entire time on the ten to get me to. Hey, my mom's a badass. Good job. Mom's <laughs> bad. good job, mom. Commitment. We also used to have a Barbie, like a life size Barbie, when I was a kid, and for the HOV lane. Yeah. Ah! Uh-huh, because... I'm confessing to some illegal shit. Uh -oh. um, yes. Confess your crimes! <laughs> there's a part of the 10 that you have to have three people, and mm -hmm. like it was always the most congested part of the 10, so we would put a hoodie on my yeah. life-size Barbie and put her in the back we seat. Would, we would just put it on our seat, but a life-size Barbie, that's way more convincing. That oh, you put the so hoodie funny. on the we seat. We put the heedy on, uh, the the hoodie on the seat. The heady on, 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 on the suit. Put the heady on the suit. She put the heady on the suit. She put the heady on the suit. Yeah, man. And sometimes we put like a little cap just to. Dear God. Yeah. 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 And you just sometimes like say a prayer. Sometimes we put a corn cob like... pipe in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. A lit cigarette. The car catches on fire. The smoke is actually coming out of it. <laughs> Dude, my car has no tint and I've thought about it. Sometimes that traffic is so bad. I'm like, yep. I really want to get in a fucking HOV lane, yep. but my car has no tint. There's no mistaking that anyone else is in there. Once yep. the traffic yep. is too bad, I don't care. I'm getting in that <laughs> <area>. <laughs> High occupancy or not, I'm getting in the HOV. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, always, I got bodies in the trunk. That's yeah. 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 <laughs> um, that dude. Count. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to talk to you forever. Oh, I yeah. want yeah. more what stories. What a great <laughs> uplifting episode. Oh Yo, my God. Yeah, there's hope in the world. The like, yeah, I, I'm I, so I forgot happy I could do that. that. Yeah. That's great. No, yeah. I think you're literally giving many romantics out there in the world hope that it's possible. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm holding it you and your possible. family in this beautiful vision. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I'm for our jaded millennial hearts, we need your medicine. I was there with you guys, though. I was jaded. I was like, I don't, this is never going to happen for me. And then I don't, still don't understand or know. Know how, but uh, it yeah, happened. it happened. Yeah. Um, wait, 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 wait. Just lastly, question: yeah. Do you have any possible names for baby boy? Mm. Yes, he's. But you, do you want to share? Oh, I don't mind sharing yeah. at all. He's going to be a junior of my husband, oh. so oh. Michael As Harrison Torres Jr. Oh. Can you say it one more time for the Michael Harrison Torres Jr. Oh, and that's, that's an exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> we love to see it. Um, uh, also, before we wrap up, uh, what are you most excited about that you're creating right now, other than life in other your very baby? Right, right. Right. Yeah. And bones and like a kidney. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, my husband and I write together. So we wrote our first screenplay during the pandemic, Fuck which yeah. was fantastic. Oh, wow. uh, what genre? It is a drama. It is actually based on the true story of what happened to me and my mom. For as, as wonderful as like all the things that she did for me growing up, she was also very abusive and very manipulative. So we ended okay. up writing that story mm. um, in movie form, which was very weird and therapeutic. Yeah. And and wow. and thank God I worked on it with my husband because he was such a like good presence for me to have there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but we started our production company and our podcast around the same time and wrote that screenplay. And we just finished our second one that we're going to end up shooting at the end of the year because <gasps> I'm not busy enough with a baby in my tummy. Oh. I wanted to 
there's a lot of people who are like, oh, you're pregnant, so you're just never going to work again. Mm. And I'm like, it's 2024. Like, yeah, what, what the hell are you, know you talking about? Actresses, producers, directors, literally, our moms. What? Like, yeah. what are you what talking fuck, about? Right? And it's yeah. like, the I've fuck? gotten it more than you think. No, it makes would. sense. Wow. So, it makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. Misogyny so, is alive and well. It, it is. truly, truly is. And like a lot of unsolicited advice to, to <laughs> anybody out there who's talking to a pregnant person at the time. Don't. Shut the Just fuck up. Your job is over. Stop projecting. <laughs> literally yeah. don't. Shut up. I, I know my life will change. I get it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Wait, what's the exact due date? Uh, June 20th. June 20th. Was that cancer. Gemini? That's right oh, on the cusp. Right. No, it's right on the cusp. Yeah. So, yeah. Or that's still in Gemini. Usually the first baby is late. So we're thinking it's going to be a cancer baby. Okay. But oh. we, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Because we'll, I think you're right on the yeah. last day of Gemini. Yeah. We'll oh. see. But we wrote a screenplay that is just the two of us acting in it. Oh, so, amazing. Yeah. Awesome. So we like have all the creative control over it. Like we're getting a, a production company involved and like funding for it and stuff like that. Awesome. So That's we cool. will, my mother-in-law is a saint. She's going to watch the baby while oh. we're filming. Uh, and we're just going to film it at the end of the year and, and Dude, start doing our own stuff. It's fucking awesome. Holy right? Thanks. Yeah. We, Thank I, we, like we kind of have it now with the podcast. I just love seeing like which of us who still love this industry and this mm. business that started really young start to take it on our own show. It's the path yeah. all of us must take. Yeah. yeah. We're not in the we're not in what it used to be, which was like yeah. waiting for the door to open for exactly. us. Like you just literally can't these days. Yeah. You'll, you'll I didn't understand it forever. when I was a kid at yeah, all. Like, I, I was like, like why this. would I write? I'm an right. actor. Like yeah. this is crazy. And then I I ended up doing it and loving it. And mm -hmm. I was like, God, I should have started this earlier. That's what I found. The more I've pushed into those spaces like yeah. I actually love it I'm yeah. like why wasn't I doing this at fucking 18 instead of just sitting here and complaining like all the audi auditions that I get are all like I get to be the best friend or like right. the secondary character like yeah. I can just write my roles that make me happy yeah rather than me just what? getting frustrated that Matt Shively books every role I audition for <laughs> Matt Shively <laughs> Love you, Maddie. I could have been <laughs> writing my own shit. <laughs> yeah, I love, I, I love you, Matt. You should write your own You're thing. Gorgeous. You should have Shively audition for it. And, you should, uh, and reject him. Uh, <laughs> hey, we just wanted to call and say you didn't get it. You didn't get it. <laughs> you were perfect and hilarious. You didn't get it. Honestly, you'd probably appreciate the dedication. Yeah. So, yeah. It, uh, it's all going to be a sham just to rub it in his face. Yeah, why not? Love you, Shively. Um, anyways, <laughs> uh, I love everything you have going on. Thank Thanks you. for coming here. We Thank like to end our episodes with a tip to the audience about it, anything. Oh, man. Mm. Um, a tip about anything. Yeah. Anything um, we talked about, any whatever. Um, don't give up on true love. Oh, It exists. Just to end on a positive note. It really does exist. Even if you don't think it does, be patient. It does. Don't give up, Lindsay. I won't. <laughs> I so, won't, Deb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go and say, if you are able, um, take a take a, take a a vacation for 27 days. Yeah, do that. Do, mm. I mean, if, if that's able, if you're able to like put all of those vacations, whatever, that sounds amazing because yeah. to travel somewhere is so much upheaval and change like at first. So like, I swear to God, I would need like a good week to yeah. be like, hey, I'm good. And yeah. now I can enjoy it. Yeah, we were also going halfway across the world. Exactly. So it was like, I was like, I'm not spending a week here. Right. I, I'll barely get over the jet lag. So yeah. We, we, yeah, we did it up. Yeah. Okay. I like that. I love that. Right. You got one? Uh, a tip uh, for me, I will say uh, for those of you in relationships, Try something new with your partner. It could be like a skill or dancing. Like I, I know your guy already was great at it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's fun to try new things and both look even stupid learning something that you mm -hmm. both don't know and getting through it together. It's a nice little. Or little flip engine. it in reverse. Oh, oh, just try a new little pose of Sean. <laughs> Change position. There you go. New position. Flip it in reverse. Flip it in reverse. Flip it in reverse. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. That side of the table is lit. Oh, That's we lit over here. I wasn't going to interrupt. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, have We're no being have you ever had hands before? <laughs> 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 these are new. What? What are these? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. My tip is... I accidentally, I thought this cup was empty when I poured my Diet Coke in it, but it still had some of my cold brew in it. So Ew! this has been a Diet Coke cold brew. And I just, my tip is not as bad as you'd think. Uh, worse. Ugh. 
Not as bad as you'd think. You find a way to horrify <laughs> me more every what? day. Not as bad as you'd think. It's cold brew Diet Coke. Um, Listen, guys, thanks for being here. <laughs> Ashley Argota, go follow her yeah, on all yeah. the things. Uh, look Blue out for her coming. future movies and future children, but don't talk to her or her baby. Right. Uh, leave her alone. Correct. Um, but follow her on socials. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Ned's Pod Extras oh, yes. drop in on Fridays. Audio That's pods. our extra audio pods. Run it where we uh, hear your guys' voice memos. We yeah. actually respond to your voices. It has been so amazing. And we rate your voices. Oh, we do. We yeah. Do. Some of you, not so great voices. No, so, so some of them have voices that you just want to fall into, and other ones oh, yeah. you just admire from afar. Some are <laughs> That's Both fair. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> some are like a tall building. Others are like a warm biscuit. Yeah, robust. You know? mm. yeah. 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 So go check those out. Um, Love you. See you next week. Peace. Bye. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching this week's episode. Uh, Special guys, shout out. Is it time for <laughs> Super, Super Friends Dance? Dance. Super Friends Dance. Yeah. Thank you for being patrons. Thank we you. love you. Special shout out. Thanks for making this pa uh, th this podcast possible. Go to patreon.com slash nedspod if you want more from that us part. and to support us. We love you. Love Thank you. you. See you next week. Bye.